Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about block provider and block builder. Block provider provides the block to its children and block builder allows us to rebuild the UI based on the state. Let me move to main.dart. In the main.dart, I will wrap this material app with block provider. So a return, here I will use block provider. And to this block provider, I will specify the type of block. So here the type of block is counter block, which I have created in the last video. Now in this create, it will take a context. And here I will create which block counter block. And As a child, I will pass this that's it. So this is how we can use block provider. Now I need to use the block builder to update the UI because my requirement is that whenever the user will click on the plus button, then the value of this text should increase by one. And whenever the user clicks on the minus button, then the value should uh, decrease by one. So I need to update the UI. And as I told you to update the UI based on the state, we need to use block builder. So this text widget here, I will use block builder. And to this builder, which takes context and state and this block builder sorry state and this block builder here I need to specify the type that is the counter block and the state that is counter state. Now from here, I will cut this text widget, I will use it here and we need to use a return. Now there is no need of this. Now instead of 0, here I will use state because this state is nothing but the counter state so state dot counter dot to string and here i need to use a const okay now whenever the user will click on plus button that is on this floating action button i need to generate which event i need to generate the increment event and to generate the increment event here I will use context which is of type build context dot I will use the read method and to this read method I will pass the type of the block which I have created that is nothing but the counter block and I will call the add method and here I need to specify the name of the event which I want to generate. So here I want to generate which event counter increment event. So here I will pass counter increment event. Fine. Similarly, let me copy this and for this button that is to decrement the value here I need to generate decrement event. So here I will call decrement counter event sorry counter decrement event okay that's it now let me do a hot restart let me show you the output now once I click on this then you can see the value is incrementing by one and whenever I'm clicking on this minus button then the value is decrementing by one this is how we can implement this counter app 
with the help of block builder and block provider now let me discuss one more thing here this block provider it has one more property which is called as build when now whenever this build when returns true then only the widget will be updated otherwise it will not be updated by default it returns true okay now here it takes previous and current now what i will do is that i will print the value of previous and i will print the value of current as well now let me do a hot restart okay here we need to use the return also so here i am returning true now let me do a hot restart okay working fine now let me click on this plus button now once i click on this plus button then you can see here for the previous one it is displaying instance of counter initial state and counter increment state because i have clicked on plus now if i click on minus then it is displaying counter increment state and counter decrement state now here what i will do is that previous dot counter i will display the value of counter now let me do a hot restart once again now let me show the output if i click here then see it is displaying 0 and 1 the previous value was 0 and the current value is 1 now if i click once again here in the plus button then the previous value is 1 and the incremented that is the current value is 2 okay now whenever i am clicking here you can see the ui is updated now suppose instead of returning true from here i am returning false then if i do a hot restart now if i click here then you can see the ui is not updated because in the build when i have returned false as i told you that the ui will be updated only or this builder will work only if the build when returns true otherwise this ui will not be updated now let me specify a condition here return here i am checking current dot counter if it is greater than equals to 5 this means if the current value of counter is greater than equals to 5 then only it will return true and at that time only the ui will be updated now let me do a hot restart once again now if i click here then you can see the ui is not updated not updated not updated not updated but once the value is greater than equals to 5 then the condition returns true and the value is updated this is how this build when property works that's it for today's video we'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching